first we have to install docker if if you already installed old version of docker you have to remove it so uninstall old version of docker then run sudo apt get update after that we need to install these packages to allow apt to use a repository over https so just install these packages So these packages already there. Then we need to add Docker's official GPG key. okay it's done then we need to verify the key just turn this one then grep for okay After that, we need to add stable docker Ubuntu repository. So this command will add st st Ubuntu repository for stable version of docker. Okay, repository is added. After that we need to run sudo apt-get update again whenever you add new repository we need to run sudo apt-get update so in in sudo apt-get update you can see the repository which we added see this one okay next we can install latest version of docker by running this command if you want to install a specific version you can use this command apt install docker hyphen ce equal to here we need to specify the version so here in this tutorial I am going to install latest version of docker so I am going to use this command so it looks like Ubuntu 17.04 does not have stable version of docker hyphen ce so what I need to do is I need to add instead of test rep, uh, stable, uh, stable repo I need to add test repository then run sudo apt get update so now I have st stable repo and test repository so in test repository you can see docker package
see this docker docker hyphen c is there in this test repo so i am going to install docker You can browse Ubuntu repository like that, uh, like this. Just to open this link. So there you can see the in download.docker.com. Here you can see the Ubuntu versions. So here, if you select pool then select stable then select AMD 64 so there is no package so if we go to test AMD 64 you can see the docker hyphen C so I'm installing this docker community edition from test repo so later they will add this package in the stable repo so right now it's not there so that's why I installed from the test repo okay installation completed now let me verify docker by running this hello world command sudo docker run hello world So now it's downloading the image okay it's done so you can see the print here so this means the setup is working I have installed docker successfully next I am going to launch latest tensorflow CPU binary image in a docker container for that we can use this command so we need to use sudo sudo docker so it's unable to find the image so it's going to pull the image from internet so downloading you know tensorflow cpu binary image is started okay it's done so now I am inside that image so now I am going to run a short tensorflow program inside the python interactive shell just copy this program then open python interactive shell ok 
okay so here we can this program will print hello tensorflow see here you can see it's printed hello tensorflow so this way we can install tensorflow cpu binary in docker